<laughs> finally, YouTubing has paid off. I finally got one. You remember the Busby gun smoke, right? I mean, how could you forget? And if you don't have one of these magnificent beasts, I will have a link down below, an affiliate link to Amazon, which if you buy something would help out the channel. Thank you very much for using it. Where you can pick one of these up for a pretty reasonable price. Now, why would you want one? Well, if all you care about is performance and stuff, uh, this is not the blaster for you because this is a reshelled Busby double shot. Minus the double. This is a Busby shot. There's a video right up here on this exact one of the gun smoke. And if you live in the United States, that might be all you know about the Busby gun smoke. However, I have claimed on this channel that there is another blaster in the entirety of the gun smoke line. Yes, a second one. There's only two blasters in the gun smoke line, and one of them wasn't even released in this country. Yes, for some reason, this Busby blaster was only released in Canada. For all the complaints that our maple covered cousins have up north, they still got one of the coolest blasters ever that I have been wanting for years now. The only reason I know this thing exists is because Buff Daddy Nerf did an article and a review on one and it never showed up anywhere and I don't think anybody else had done a video until very recently. Because thanks to Maritime Foam, I have my hands on the ever elusive Busby Gunsmoke Pistol. So make sure you go subscribe, and then also you should subscribe on this channel because you, you probably aren't. I have that under good authority. And thus, YouTube, I present to you an extremely rare, yet not really that rare, Nerf Blaster from a different age. Releasing in 2015, the Busby Gunsmoke Pistol was the sister blaster to the Gunsmoke... It, it literally... Both of them are just called Gunsmoke, but this one does say pistol on it. It is a six shot revolving foam dart blaster with the same smoking gimmick that the Busby Gunsmoke has. And yet we have another present from Maritime Foam. We actually have a refill cartridge sealed of the Gunsmoke variety. Now, I really want to get a retail packaging of this because I've seen them. I believe it's just a little package slip thing, you know, hanging from a hook that has two of these cartridges in it. I've seen them on Amazon, but I didn't buy it back in the day, and now it's complete unobtainium. These cartridges are filled with, I believe, probably vegetable glycerin gel. That is really long-lasting, because every single one of these I've thrifted probably years ago still smoke when you power them up. So these things tend to last for... ever. And what this blaster does to produce a smoke effect is actually pretty cool, and it's something that I kind of wish more gimmicks like this existed because it's just stupid fun. I don't know, maybe the chemicals instantly produce cancer. I have no idea. Using three AA batteries, every single time you fire this blaster, it actually activates some kind of warming coil or something and then pipes smoke through the front of the barrel of the blaster. It's a completely cosmetic effect that is ridiculously cool. As you can tell from the pistol here, it looks like... Well, it's, it's trying to look like some kind of Wild West revolver kind of thing, but then, of course, has a top slide up here, which is ridiculously small, but it works. You've got a six-shot cylinder right here. You've got the spot up here that you can screw in uh, ugh, your smoke cartridge. You can see it's punctured in there, and yep, it's, it's, it's currently active. I don't know how many shots you get off one of these, I assume it's not too many. And the smoke effect does diminish as you use the blaster. And of course, it would have used the beloved Busby Sticky Dart, which I have a couple here. They're not brand new, but even when they were, this thing was not some kind of performance powerhouse. Six beautiful darts located in. You prime that back, it slides forward, and then you pull the trigger to fire. It fires the foam dart, and yet, hopefully the camera is picking up that beautiful, beautiful, brand new smoke effect. It, uh, it persists for quite some time, and I don't really know how to describe the smell. It's not unpleasant by any means. It just smells kind of a little sharp, but I don't really know what to describe it as. Uh, it doesn't really smell of anything particular, and it does linger for quite some time. I was test firing this before this video and came back about 45 minutes later, and it still had the smell. So, again, maybe it just causes instant cancer. I have no idea. Just gonna get a little bit of cancer, Stan. Tell mom it's okay. And simply repeat the steps to fire mower darts, except for that one didn't fire. So let's see if it could, uh, 
Oh, yep. I wonder what happens if I fire this a lot of times, because I haven't seen the smoke effect until I stop firing. I, I don't know if that's primed multiple times. That That is quite a lot of smoke. The way it actually produces the smoke effect, I believe, is the exact same way that the double shot variant does, even though, again, this only fires one dart. There's two plunger tubes in here, so when you're priming it back, one plunger tube obviously delivers air power to the dart fires it at the barrel. The other one seems to kind of creep forward slowly, like it has a very small air release hole, but that is what blows the smoke out of the chamber where it is created and out through the muzzle of the blaster. You can actually kind of see in there, there's like a little chamber right there for the smoke to come out of. Uh, in terms of performance, the Busby Gunsmoke pistol doesn't really have any. It is below stock nerf average. It's more on par with what you got with original nerf and strike. That could have a lot to do with the darts though. And unlike some other Busby blasters that I have used from this generation, it is completely compatible with Nerf foam darts. Like it doesn't have the oversized dart pegs that absolutely ruin every dart you put in it. This works perfectly well with any kind of dart. And it fires ridiculously harder when you do that, bring it up to about elite standard. It does have this fake little hammer back here. This does nothing. And what's more interesting is that the plates of the kind of cylinder thing right there those are free floating, they're like moving, so you could technically pop them out and paint them, I guess. And notably, it has a really comfortable grip, which is unheard of for Busby blasters, especially smaller pistol sized ones. It, it feels pretty good. It's where it kind of meets up here to the back of the receiver, and that's where it doesn't feel that great, but it does work. It is a competent blaster, and I would have no problem using one of these in a stock war if I needed to. Now, when I talk about the rarity, do I mean that this thing is valuable? I, I don't think so. These are rare. However, everybody I've ever seen have one of these also has multiple of them. I have been reached out to a couple of times over the last two years about getting one of these, and none of those deals seemingly ever go through. Maritime Foam just sent this out to me, and again, you should go check out Maritime Foam. But are they valuable? Because rarity does not always equal something being worth money, and I don't think the Busby Gunsmoke is really worth anything. Because as we've learned over the last couple of years, uh, this blaster does exist and nobody knows about it, and therefore it's already kind of past its prime. If you for some reason absolutely had to have one of these blasters, I'm sure you would pay a bit more than you would want to for something like this, unless I am single-handedly ruining the market like none other by doing this video, and for some reason this video gets more than the couple of views it should. It's not a very desirable thing, though. It's, it's a cool toy with a neat gimmick, but if you wanted to experience this gimmick, you could just buy this one off Amazon for like 20 bucks and be happy with it. It's the exact same effect, it's just this one is pistol-shaped, and, well, to be fair, it's a far superior blaster for it. So why have I wanted one of these things? Well, because I didn't even know if it actually existed or not. Buff Daddy is one of the only people I know of that got their hands on one of these blasters, and maybe had I not done a video on this thing or multiple videos talking about the Busby Gunsmoke pistol, this thing would have faded into complete obscurity because it doesn't really look like anything special from the outside. It looks like something that you would uh, never pick up because it looks like a cheap off-brand Nerf blaster. And I absolutely love it. I mean, for what it is with the grip and the... It, okay, that wasn't great, but it does work surprisingly good for what it is. And then after that, you get that super cool gun smoky. Like, I mean, you're the only one that's really gonna see that, especially at distances where you'd be firing nerf darts at somebody. But it looks, feels, and more importantly, smells really flippin' cool. And at the end of the day, that's kind of all that matters. The Busby Gunsmoke is a fantastic little toy that unfortunately most of you probably won't be able to get your hands on. And honestly, you don't need one. But I have to thank Maritime Foam one last time for sending this off to me and completing my Busby Gunsmoke collection.